Fam, who is your favorite billionaire? Myself. Who is your celebrity crush? Welcome back to another episode of The Light Show with me, Donovan Goliath. Thank you so much for joining us. We have an incredible show lined up for you guys today. Um, our celebrity guest this week, uh, what is he? DJ, uh, businessman, uh, inspiring entrepreneur, producer, Mr. Mo Fire himself. DJ Spoo is in the building. And of course, we close things off with our musical guest, TDK Makaset. Me, I want to know now, when TDK Makaset launches that album, will it be a TDK 60? Oganya and 90. Skr skr kids are confused right now. <laughs> but first, congratulations to the two winners of the Castle Light Batu sneakers. If your name is Simtandile Precious Mayakiso, well done. You spotted me wearing them on the stairs. And then of course, Ukulufelo Nomvela um, spotted them in the box behind Rouge. We will get those to you shortly. Well done for doing well, man. Now, there is another shot of winning those sneakers in this week's episode. Uh, we're going to switch things up just a little bit. Um, if you can tell us where the sneakers are hidden in the box, right? In the box, not one of us wearing them, in the box. Give us the time code um, and let us know in the comment section. And you too could be walking away with a Castle Light butt two pair of sneakers. Now we will be trawling through all of those comments to see who gets there first, so good luck. Um, and of course, speaking of comments, um, thank you so much to all of you guys, uh, you know, who've been telling us what you like, what you don't like about the show. <laughs> Last week we had Rasta um, on the show and you guys had a lot to say. Uh, so shout out to Love Child Music, uh, to Tebile, and of course Temba Amba Bebe, who had some interesting things to say about it. But for now though, let's catch up on some light news. Some world news now real quick, uh, or should we call it nasty news? Because for the third straight week in a row, uh, Nasty C is making headlines yet again. Oh, Nini, we are talking about Nasty C, but no, he actually deserves it. He really does. Um, he has just managed to scoop a BET Hip Hop Award nomination in the Best International Flow category. I mean, the hits just keep coming. Dude, like if, if, if there's one thing I can say, just give other people's children a chance. People are starving out there. Like, let other people rap. It can't just be nasty, 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 nasty all the time. But well done. Now, in other Showbiz Awards news, South African talent is killing it yet again at this year's E People's Choice Awards. Uh, John Cena's bestie, Usho Majozi, um, is nominated. Uh, we also have social media influencer Carl Kugelman, and then TikTok superstar Wian Vandenberg is there as well, uh, alongside actress Tuson Bebu, and of course, the most beautiful woman in the universe, and Maim Kaya Uzozi Tunzi. Well done, guys. And finally, Fat Joe has just landed himself a talk slash re reality show um, that launches on One Magic this week. Now, according to the press release, uh, the talk show uh, presents itself in the form of a dinner party and features very high profile guests, including celebrities, politicians, business people, social media influencers, all talking about controversial matters of the day. I wonder if I'll get an invite today. Please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button so you never ever miss an episode. In the meantime, sit back, relax, and enjoy another refreshing light episode. Exactly what is Twitter saying about the controversial matters of the day? In other news, American President Donald Trump has tested positive for COVID-19, or China virus, as he likes calling it. I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! Many took to Twitter to celebrate this form of karma and give their heartfelt condolences. But just as American Twitter was about to pop champagne, Trump decided to take a ride around the hospital with his secret service. I, I could literally see him taking his breath. <gasps> Great! <gasps> this Kung flu virus is not real! <gasps> Build a wall. It's a vibe on TikTok with MFR Souls. Their new Manigi Nigi song is topping the charts, and many have decided to celebrate with the new Manigi Nigi Dance Challenge. The song speaks to us as a people. Now that the country is open, we're spoiled for choice. We don't know what to choose. Hey, I'm making a food order. Hey, I'm making a food order. Do you know what you want? Ah, uh, no, it's okay. I'll just have a Manigi Nigi. No, wait. I eat, eat, eat cheese. No, wait, uh, it's it, it chicken. 
You're gonna hate me. What? I actually want to beef. You know what? How about a beer? Yeah, sure. Can I also have oh, uh... No! Back to you, Don. Look, our next guest is an inspiration to many. DJ, TV and radio personality, producer, businessman, somebody who is not scared, not shy to give away secrets on how to hustle. It is none other than Mr. Mofi himself. It is DJ oh, Spoo! Oh, oh my goodness, just a moment. Yeah. yeah, man, can I call you back? That's probably like a million call back. phone call right there. <laughs> okay, I'll call you back. Hi, hi, Victor. How are you doing, bro? I'm fine. How are you? Why are you always gonna like upstage all the time? Look at you. You look like you're here for a fashion shoot. This is not your show. And so says somebody with this amazing, marvelous view. Right. <laughs> That's well, a sharp one. Let's go chat. It's very hard to define you. Um, I, I like if somebody had to ask me who is DJ Spool, what does he do? Um, I would never know where to start. Many businesses suffered setbacks, some even folded during this lockdown crisis. Werner, you decided to expand. Mm. How does that work? <laughs> Take us through that. <laughs> I also went through it quite a lot, yeah. just like everybody else. You know, we've, we've the executive team on all of my businesses, yeah. we, we didn't take any salaries. I'm actually tasting money for the first time now, um, salary-wise. Coming on with the beverage company, it has been something we've been working on for the past, I'd say, almost two years. The soft drink range. Yes. So we've been selling just the energy drinks. Yes. Just before level one on the 1st of September, then we launched our new soft drink range. And that caused a big, big noise on social media. Because yeah. people were not, they didn't see that coming. Mm, I and, think and, and that's your, those are your moves though. Because you keep it quiet, and then bam, you hit us hard, like with the final product. You never, you know, you never go, oh, you know, we're thinking of this, we're thinking of that. You're like, no, 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 you work in the background and then boom, you come through strong. I think I've learned that from a lot of the, the best people in the world. I think they work like that. I mean, if you look at Castle Light, what yes. you guys are doing, yeah. you launch when you are ready to launch. Yes. But behind yes. that launch, yes. there's been lots and lots of hard work. There's been lots of preparation. There's been lots of planning, this and that. And when you launch, you do know that you've got all your ducks in a row. Yeah. And then you are ready to, you know, to go to the market. And that's exactly what we've done. Uh, now you've also just recently dropped a single with The Observer and Bongani Sex. Speak to us about that. So you do your research. <laughs> a little bit, you know. I mean, yeah. I know, I know, I know who I'm coming to speak to here. I must be, hey. <laughs> yeah, so I've got a... I've got some music that I've been working on during the lockdown. Yeah. And I mean, the last time I made music was what, 2012? So I am, I am working on an album. I'm actually done. I'm just mastering right now. It's coming out on the 30th of October. The single is currently out. It's called Stronger with the Observer and Bongani Sex. It's mature music. It's African music. It's a grown up mood. We're going to play a game now. OK. Uh, it's called the Extra Cold Interview. Take you out of your comfort zone just a little bit and see what a hustler you really are. Okay. You ready? It's Bandai. Let's go. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we've got the man himself, DJ Spoo, um, fully clad in his business attire, and we're now about to play the extra cold interview. You've got to answer as many questions as possible. These are rapid fire questions in 60 seconds, all while holding your hand in this bucket of ice. Now, I'm going to put my hand in as well, just to guilt you. So yeah. while you're feeling pain, I'm feeling pain as well. So your job is to get through all of these questions under 60 so I can, you can relieve me of the okay. pain. Can we do that? Yeah. Okay. In three, two, one, bam. Who is your favorite billionaire? Myself. <laughs> All right. Which hustler impresses you the most in the world? Mr. Strive Masi from Zimbabwe. Great. I will Google him. Who would you like to be in business with? Mr. Strive Masi from Zimbabwe. Yeah, we Strives himself. What do you regard as your greatest accomplishment? Being a father. Oh, fantastic. What would you never do for any amount of money? Lie, cheat, or steal. Great. What was the, your worst subject at school? Afrikaans. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your celebrity crush? Nomzam. <laughs> uh, okay, what is the most <laughs> embarrassing thing that you have ever done? Embarrassing thing I've ever done, speeding and getting caught in oh. a sponsored vehicle. Ooh. Oh, that's, yeah, what's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Ah! Uh, oh, guys. Yo, yo, yo. Yeah, I have a feeling that you've done quite well. I didn't want to say I think no, one, two, three. I <laughs> it, hey, man. Hey. <laughs> well, uh, DJ Spoo, aka Mr. Mo Fire himself, you managed to answer in 60 seconds 
eight questions correctly, which mm -hmm. means ah, you yeah, are in two, fourth two. place. You took two, two, out pair and knaves. <laughs> well done. I, I mean, and that I feel like that was like your thing from the get go. That's the only person <laughs> that you wanted to beat. Never mind all of the others. But eight questions correct. How do you feel about that? That's you not bad at all because they are my boys. You know, we are all DJs. But um, yes. I, I don't. I wanted to remove Rouge there, but it's okay. It's, it's, quite a, a it's okay, Rouge. Uh, I'll get you next time. <laughs> Ten minutes for DJ Spoo, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a millionaire now. I don't know how it happened. I don't know how you managed to make that happen. And as a token of um, our appreciation, we want to give you this ice core to say thank you for making me rich. This guy looks a bit reluctant to give me this because he knows all the money is in here. So thank you, I appreciate you, bro. No, it's a. Spuda! <laughs> Bojack is back and he has some ideas on how to unbox yourself. So, you've weathered the storm, you're slowly getting into a rhythm, and you've done your workplace's compulsory Jerusalem challenge. But things are starting to feel the same. It's time to spice things up and unbox yourself. It's surviving the new normal with myself, Mojack Luhuku. Let's get it. Hello everyone, welcome to my new YouTube channel within a channel. It's a little bit like Inception. Today we're doing something that's never ever done before. Wait for it. Drum roll please. It's an unboxing video. Huh? Huh? Actually, everybody's doing that. Who? Name one, name one person who's ever done such a thing. I think we're the first that's... I mean, why would you mention that now? There's a, we had a whole pre-production meeting and... Ah, what do we have here? Castellite have collaborated with Patu to bring you a sneaker like no other. Something fresh, something light, and something filled with soul. Huh? I love the packaging, it's so dope. Incredible outsole, some interchangeable laces. I think we should try these on, just for kicks. Because it's... Uh, there are kicks in America, and so... Right, let's do it. Oh my... What is that? Oh, guys, look at... Look at the drip! Hello? What's up, Cardi? Oh, grrr. No, I'm just chilling in the mansion. Uh-huh. Okay, send my regards to Offset. Okay, I'll see you soon. Uh, coronavirus! So remember to unbox yourself and to like and subscribe to our channel to get more content as we look at the drip. Salu, Salu, please show yourselves out. I'm just gonna hang over here. Mm. All right, the show is almost over by now. You should have spotted those Castle Light Batu sneakers somewhere. If not, don't panic. We still have a few minutes left uh, because right after Rouge wraps it up, we play out uh, with TDK Makaset singing Mashobane. Yo, Rouge, just wrap it up for us. First things first, up I have a light show. Welcome, Welcome back, back to Vina. Vina. Boga. DJ Spoon with the words of wisdom. Build my kingdom, trying to make millions. Master, uh, KG, uh, nasty. Living on trends like residents. Getting that cash, them dividends. Nominations that B E T F I R E. Sheesh. K K K White Sheets. White Sheets. Yes, who's got the Rona? Ooh. Wanna F Trump's gonna bleach? Probably. He gonna be sorry like Cosby. <laughs> Nominations E Entertainment. I got my money on Swazi. For the lovers living on the trend, don't wanna break up, wanna be like them. But why everybody studying in the DMs? The common consensus, weep at the end. Wanna be lovers? Better as friends. Still wanna bash. So talks in the end. Started on Twitter. You also her tens. See how we started versus how we ended. See? See? Now that's Inception. Oh, 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 oh.
petegai, sa durum petegai, e pasinu generali, pasiun salam zuraga, kalima lumina na, tamizu mashoba, slandi scupu slandi ma, sa durum petegai, un petegai, un petegai. Saturum peteca, e pasinu general, e pasinu salam seraga, kalima lunguana, bambezu mashoba, sandis kupu sandima, saturum peteca, tretreca, The Light Show drops every Friday on YouTube. We gon' be alright. Keep it light.